Hey guys, it's Jordan with Bats and Bone Pits. Today I'm going to show you what I do with our one week old puppies. I'm going to show you how we do our early neurological stimulation process and our early scent introduction. Um, also show you things like daily weight checks, changing their collars, and really just showing, you know, a day in the life of what we do with our young puppies. So you start off, you hold their head up for three to five seconds. Turn them on their back. Turn them back over. You will need a Q-tip for this process. Tickle his toes. Oh, where's your other foot, man? There it is. All right, I'm gonna hold his head down for three to five seconds. And then I have an ice pack over here. I'm gonna put him on a cold surface as well for three to five seconds. So put on a fresh collar, make sure it's not too tight. It's getting a little fussy, so we pick them right back up. We try not to put them down when they have their little fits and when they're fussy, just so they can build, you know, that stress tolerance, bounce back. All right, and then the next step, I'm gonna put them down again. I'm going to do early scent introduction. I have a kit. This comes with all different types of scents. This is from a breeder supply store. Early scent introduction kit. You can make your own or you can buy your own. So what we do is we introduce a new scent each day to the puppies. We start this on three days old and then we end about day 16. So what you do is you take your scent can, you hold your puppy in one hand and your scent can in the other. And then you hold the scent about one inch away from their nose. Then you kind of just record their reaction. Okay. So I think that's more of a neutral reaction. Neutral is when the puppy doesn't move towards or away from the scent, but he's still sniffing. He's still trying it out positive reaction he would lean toward the scent and then a negative reaction would mean that he's moving away from it so i'm going to try one more time yeah and i think that's pretty neutral moving on to our next pup this is black collar male so we'll start off by putting him on the scale it's okay little man he is two pounds seven ounces Guy is nice and chunky from our Pablo Dream Litter. Put his collar back on. Well, new collars. Okay, hold the puppy's head up three to five seconds. And lay them on their back. So that's looking like a, a mild protest. That's what that looks like but he's able to compose himself and bring himself back together. I'm gonna to tickle his toes with a Q-tip. Okay, and I'm gonna have his head pointed down. And then put him on the ice pack. Awesome. Okay, right, looks like he's doing good. I'm gonna hold the scent can. So he moved it towards, that looked like positive. Nice and quick. Only one week old, and then you put them right back in the whelping box. Black collar male, Pablo Dream Litter. Moving on, this is blue collar male. I'm gonna put him down in the scale. Big boy, two pounds, 13 ounces, and I'm gonna See if I can put his collar on quickly. Yep, yeah, there we go. Head held up. <laughs> Sleepy. Lay him on his back. 
turn him back over, tickle his toes. This is all very quick. Head pointed down. And thermal stimulation, three to five seconds. All right. Good job. Blue collar male, Pablo Dream Litter, one week old. All right, see the scent introduction. Hmm. I'm going to try again. It's looking like negative. He moved his head away. He didn't really like it that much. Moving on, this is red collar female. Two pounds, eight ounces. All right, moving on, ENS. Pretty good, no reaction. All right, and then scent. Hmm, let's try one more time. Yep, moved away, so that would be negative. And then the families do get all of this information. We print all of this out for them so they can see their progress. Everybody's up, sounds like now and ready to eat. But yes, families get a printout of the weights, the ENS and ESI results. And this is also good to have for information for the future to see how other litters compare. Red collar female, Pablo Dream Litter, one week old. And we have green collar female, weight check. Uh-oh, a lot of moving. Let's bring her right back. Sometimes that happens. All right, it's looking like two pounds, seven ounces. Try to hold her so we can do the quick collar change. <laughs> she is a little mover. All right, let's see. Two fingers, that should be good. Okay, ENS. And just a reminder for ENS, you will need a pair of gloves, Q-tip, ice pack. And then you just record their reactions. Once we put her on the ice, she did a little bit of movement, so I would say mild reaction. And then the scent. Negative, moved her head away, didn't like it. So there we are, green collar female, ENS, ESI, daily task, Pablo Dream Litter. All right, and here's our last female, yellow collar female. All right, two pounds, six ounces. All right, new collar. Moving on to ENS. Head held up. Lay on their back. Tickle their toes. Head pointed down. Thermal stimulation. It looked positive. It looked like she went towards it. Let's try one more time. <laughs> it's okay. Hmm. 
Hmm. All right, so I'm gonna say neutral because she kind of did a little bit of both, moved toward and away. But yep, yeah, yellow collar female, Pablo Dream Litter, one week old. We will continue to monitor these guys and show you their progress. At this time, all males are reserved. We have first and second pick female reserved. So if you're interested in reserving third pick female, please let us know. Picks begin at eight weeks. You can email badtothebonekennels at gmail.com or you can go to our website, badtothebonekennels.com. We're also on Good Dog, we're on Google, Instagram, Bad to the Bone Pits. We're also on Facebook. <laughs> you can pretty much find us anywhere, guys, even on Twitter. So leave us a comment, leave us a like, let us know how you liked the ENS and ESI intro, our daily tasks. Let us know what other content you'd like to see. And I'm gonna wave, we'll see y'all later. <laughs>